Hey, what's up guys? Well, you guys saw me do the uh, Chubby Bunny Challenge. Chubby Bunny! <laughs> and uh, I opened the, uh, the package with this Schrade Bolo. So, I wanted to give you a little shot of that knife. And a uh, fairly large knife here. Very substantial. This is a Bolo-shaped machete. But uh, Schrade's interpretation of this is a little bit different. It's actually quite a thick stock. Which makes for a very heavy knife. And um, although originally the, the bolo style machete is Filipino, is used for basically, you know, bushwhacking for the most part. It's, you know, just chopping away at, you know, shrubs and uh, different types of uh, some growth around their fields, whether they're using it for their crops or whether they're just literally just, you know, making a path somewhere. Um, and of course, obviously, like most Filipino tools, they were improvised weapons for peasants. You know, if you were just... A nobody and you're being attacked obviously you're kind of feel with a massive blade on you that becomes your weapon but anyway the bolo machete is um, very blade heavy it does have a slight curve similar to a kukri but not quite as extreme um, I'm confident this is gonna be a very good chopper it is a massive knife and like I said it, it's it's blade heavy we have a lot of heft uh, towards the center here obviously a large leaf uh, shaped blade here um, I think that it would it would have its drawbacks for its original purpose because it is so heavy. It's going to be hard to wield literally all day long. That's what, you know, someone would be using this in the field all day long, you know, or out in the woods, uh, the jungle. Um, but in this case, I'm going to be chopping down that tree right there. This is in my front yard, and this is a very large tree. It's actually, it's, it's an offshoot of this tree, and the top of this broke off in a storm. And when it broke off, it has new growth on the top, but it's very funky and it's actually taking away from the health of the main part of the tree. So I'm going to be chopping this down. It's actually fairly large to be uh, doing something like this. Um, I'm going to try to chop it a little bit higher because I want to use this stump for some other testing in the future with some different things. But uh, basically, I just want to lop it off and see how well this chops. Um, it's not really meant to chop, but like I said, I'm confident it's going to handle that task fairly well. Um, like a lot of bolo machetes, the base here flares out quite a bit. This has a very extreme flare on it, so it keeps your grip, so it's not going to slide out of your hand very easily. So when I'm using this, I'm going to choke all the way down to keep that up against my pinky. Should give us a, a lot of leverage here. So anyway, the base here, where I'm going to be chopping into this, this is a, at least five, six inches wide. So it's a fairly large base for a tree. It's not a, a you know tiny little tree. Plus, it should be uh, uh, fairly dense as well. This is living right now, but like I said, for all the hippies out there who are going to complain that I'm chopping a tree down again, this is, the, me removing this, okay, is going to make that more healthy. So there's a, a general purpose here. It's not just for fun. I'm not just killing trees. So please, spare me that. All right. So, make sure I'm in the frame here. Whoop. Whoops. Can't see anything with a glare. There's a glare. All right, so here we go. The uh, Bolo Machete by Schrade. Good Lord. This thing is a beast. I don't know if you can maybe even show that. But just this first moderate chop went fairly deep. And you can't really tell, it just looks like a little slash, but... I mean, that's, that's got to be, let me see, let me get the angle here. It's got to be at least an inch in with just one little chop, so let me get you back set up here properly, and we will have at it. Boom, 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 camera fiddling, camera fiddling, all this stuff, and being out in the woods and, you know, chopping and using your knives, it's awesome. Having to film it <laughs> takes away from it just a little bit, but it's still fun to be able to share your experiences. So anyway, here we go. Alright, 
me show you where I'm at so far. This thing is a serious beast of a chopper. But remember something, with the performance you're getting here of chunking out this tree, you're also going to get fatigue because you're wielding a large heavy knife. So it's kind of a toss up. But still, it's mighty effective. So let me give you, actually let me give you this angle. I'll put you right here because I'm going to be chopping from the other side now. Zoom in just a little bit. Put this around. And we'll see where I'm at here. All right. Kind of keep an eye on this too, because when it does go, I'll make sure it's not going to fall on me or the camera. And the car. <laughs> so and I think we should be good. Change the angle a little bit here. This thing is tearing this apart. <coughs> All right. Now instead of coming in from my right side, whoop, I'm seeing around so I can see what I'm showing you. Instead of coming in from the right side like this, righty, still obviously using my right hand, but I have the you know, the main trunk here, which kind of gets in the way. I want to start taking some wood out of this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just have a different, you know, I'm coming in from this angle here. I'm not going to have as much strength by doing this, but I do want to remove a little bit of wood in the back side of this tray. Of course, I'm not going to be as accurate either. You know what? Yeah, I'm fine. I was gonna say, you know, maybe I'll move my car, <laughs> just to be sure. And this should be the last uh, angle here. Should I get this to drop? Take a little off the uh, right side here, right up in there. All right, thing's still hanging on. Put the camera over here. Couple more little wackadoodles. That's right, wackadoodles. <laughs> That's what I said. And should be good to go.
Hmm. And there's a strong core on that tree. Whoop. You have timber? All right, well, I'm going to push it that way because ideally that's where I want it to fall. And if I don't push it and I keep hitting it, it's just going to end up uh, falling that way, which I don't want. So, there it is. There's the tree. So, let's talk about this experience here. Am I zoomed in? Holy moly, I was. All right. So you can see a fairly large tree. Um, like I said, at least, let me close. In judgment, about five inches in diameter, maybe six. Um, you know, took a little bit of swinging for this. It is a good chopper. It's not the most ideal chopper. It's still, it's blade heavy, but it's not quite like a kukri in that the majority of that weight is really up front. It's kind of in between like a Latin style machete and a kukri. Has that slight curve, it's very ergonomic. I tell you, I really, really like this grip. This grip is kind of oversized. It's uh, rubberized, a little bit of a uh, scalloping type, you know, mold in the, the front and the back. You feel that in your hands, very nice. And the biggest thing, obviously, is this extreme hook on the base. Um, this really allows your hand to settle in nicely. It does not want to slip. This is a, a perfect grip for this type of tool. I would say any kind of chopping or any, any machete for that matter, whether you're chopping or not, whether you're just doing regular bushwhacking with it or not, this is extremely, extremely comfortable. I don't know if this guard coming straight up like this is completely necessary. Kind of looks cool. But as far as function, I don't feel like my hand is going to slip. If it did slip forward, it does, you know, prevent your hand from sliding all the way up. But, I mean, I have, I have large hands. I don't have massive hands. Um, this would accommodate a much larger hand as well as a smaller hand, too. It's, it's oversized, but width-wise, it's not very wide as far as the grip it, you know, goes. So if you do have a smaller hand, I don't think it's going to be a problem for you. Uh, wielding this um, overall it's very nice it's, it's definitely surprising it's uh, a little bit better of a chopper than I thought it would be but it's not like the ideal chopper you wouldn't get this this machete specifically to process wood I'm just happen to be doing this right now I might, I might do a little bit of a, a test uh, doing bu actual bushwhacking with it which is what you're supposed to do but I can tell you just from playing around with it now that being such a thick stock and being so large as it is it is heavy and um, this will wear on you. You're going to have a lot more fatigue with a big heavy knife like this if you're going to be chopping all day long with it. So, not ideal, but certainly much better than a lot of options out there. And it does actually perform that task that it wasn't specifically meant to do. So, I'm happy that I got uh, part of this tree down. Like I said, the rest of the stump here, I left it kind of large on purpose because I want to do some other testing with uh, you know, some of the hatchets that I have, as well as another machete too. But machetes are not made to chop wood. It's just because this was so thick, I figured I'd give it a go. And it's just fun. Plus, I need to take that tree down anyway. So instead of using a, a chainsaw or something, do it the old-fashioned way. Get a little bit of a workout, and everything's good. Good to go. I mean, this is what you want in this style knife. All right, this is probably quarter-inch thick. Nice, easy, clean swipe, clean uh, slice on that. Get something a little bit... A little bit wider here. If you're in the jungle and you're actually using this as a first intended purpose, I'm imagining it would do very well. It's just uh, being thicker like it is, it's going to be uh, you know, much more tiring to your arms uh, to use this constantly. All right, let's see, where am I? There we go. This piece is much thicker. If this gets to this with one clean swipe, I'd be very pleasantly surprised. So let's see if that does that. And it doesn't. Went about halfway through. So now, by the way, this is a factory edge here. Hold on, let me turn my thing here. I'm upside down. All right, um, this is the factory edge. I'm sure if you wanted to, you could sharpen this up. Maybe go through a little bit uh, cleaner. But, you know, out of the box, it came fairly sharp, enough to uh, slice paper 
adequately. It wasn't a razor edge or anything, but you know, I got the job done. Okay, well, I guess the battery died on me. <laughs> um, basically, I'm just playing around with this out of the box just to see what it's like. You'll see a full review on this in the future, but figured I was out here testing. I might as well show you a little bit of it. This specific design machete is not meant to chop down a tree. All right, but it did fairly well considering the price, considering the edge geometry, the blade steel on this, all the factors combined. I was pleasantly surprised, so it's a good thing. Can tell you this rubber grip. I love the design. The rubber is also extremely um, very grippy. And in fact, right now I have a blister that ripped open on me, which is of course never, never a, a fun experience. So you may want to uh, rock some nice gloves with this, but I want to get out and see what it's like, you know, with the bare hand. But I love the grip, and particularly this. I think any large fixed blade or short sword of this caliber should have some kind of uh, design like this on the, the base of the handle. It's really, really comfortable. It's extremely secure. There is a lantern hole on this. I, I would never put a lantern on this. It's not necessary. I feel like I can swing this as hard as I can, just like this, even without gloves, and I'm not going to lose it. Between the texture, the shape, and the design of this handle, it's it's really superb, you know, for its kind and for its purpose. So, very happy with that. And that's the Shrade Bolo Machete. So, that's it for me for now. I'm going to uh, finish this job, and I will talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon. Take care.